friends, welcome back. I am doing a video for you today, with you today. Not for you, but with you. And I am going to be making a ATC card. Now, some of you have uh, commented and really liked the ATC, or the, was it an ATC card or a tag that I did with the basket weave. So that's what I'm actually doing on this ATC card today. And I've kind of decided to do something a little different. I'm gonna be using different types of paper on this one for the basket weave. And come on my journey and <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. Um, I'm gonna to start today with just making some a few strips. And this may this paper may not work on here. Gonna... This is a coffee filter. And I'm just gonna make some strips out of the different types of paper. And we're gonna weave them together. I'm not measuring this. Um, that's going to be part of the fun, is that I'm not measuring it. They're all going to be different sizes, probably thicknesses. I'm going to try to keep them at least straight because they're not going to weave well if they're not. And I only Since it's a, such a small surface, I don't need very many strips of any of this. So, yeah. This is a little bit more in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I had uh, some struggles this morning with them. Um, making a tag that uh, a little different for me using lots of color and many of you know I like to work in neutrals I love neutrals I love I love color don't get me wrong but um, mixed media neutrals my jam and there is a car and my dog is barking what is that it's not a car what are those people doing across the street that my neighbor across the street cut all their trees down yesterday. I came home and the tree was gone by my mailbox. It kind of scared me a minute. It's <laughs> like, what is happening over here? Okay, this one's already I need some book page in there, I think. Cut this edge off. Apologize already for my dog barking. She doesn't bark at much, so when she barks, I kind of tend to listen. But those guys just have, they have their ATV out there with a trailer. Looks like they're probably going to be hauling off all those branches and tree stuff. So that's cool. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, the, the house across the street just sold recently. So I don't even know who the new tenant, who the new people that live there are. Tenants, I don't, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're renters. They look, seem like they own the place. Um, let's see here. Not it. Not that it matters. I just don't know who lives there now. Other than trimming trees and cleaning up their yard, they've been pretty quiet so far. I've seen a little girl running out outside. I don't know if it's. I don't know if she belonged there or if she was visiting. I'm not sure. It would also be nice to have some youngsters in the neighborhood. That'd be good. It's a very, it's a very quiet neighborhood, and we live on a uh, the main street into our neighborhood, so there's not a lot going on out here. Um, it's not super busy street at all, but there aren't very many children that live in the neighborhood that I can tell, or not on our street anyway. There were some little boys that lived there before and they would ride their motorcycle up and down the street, their dirt bike, which didn't bother me, but it did worry me because we have a hill that goes um, the opposite direction. So I was always afraid a car would come up over that hill and not be able to stop in time for this, the kiddos. Luckily, nothing ever happened, so that was good. I don't like that piece, Love the shimmer on this paper. So I'm going to put this in there. See if I can get two strips out of it. I probably already made more strips than I need. But I like options when I'm working, don't you? I also want to use this fabric in there. I don't think this will cut in the trimmer. So I think what I'm going to do, let's double it up. This tool. It'll have the, oh, did I get, okay, there was a piece that I wanted to make sure I got in there. Maybe I already put it over there. Did I? Yeah, I already cut it. Okay. 
Let's put, cut this toy. I think I'm going to that for now. Cut this. Just as straight across as I can. This will probably just be a little bit added in there. Just for some texture and some color and some shimmer. I'm just going to cut a couple more here. I might double them up. I might. Okay. I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. Here's my ATC card. Am I in the right spot? Am I on camera? Okay. There's my ATC card. I hope I hit the record button. I sure did. What I'm going to start with, look at all these goodies. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this with a very colorful one because I love this paper and I want to make sure I get it in there. And all I'm going to do right now is glue the end. Okay? Just the end. Over here at the edge and let that be. All right, next. Well, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to just glue the ends on. Okay, I want to butt them up to each other and leave the tiniest gap. Now, one of the reasons why I'm using this craft paper is because if there are gaps in between, it's going to be colored. It's going to be stark white um, shining through. So that's one of the reasons why I'm using this craft paper, other than I just love craft paper. <laughs> but it'll, it won't matter as much. And it's gonna be fairly rustic piece, so if there's gaps in between, that's okay too. Um, my pieces aren't gonna be perfectly straight, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's put the page in there. I'm not going in any particular order. This isn't book page, this is um, some other kind of paper. I think this is paper that comes in packaging, like when they, ship your boxes and stuff. I think that's what this paper is. And do I like that one there? Yeah, why not? And I want to put this um, snowflake paper in there. It's something I've been working with this week. So I want to kind of put that in there. And actually that kind of finishes it, doesn't it? So there we go with that, that direction. We're gonna go ahead and sit here for a minute, let that dry. I think this is gonna be cute. I like the weave, Some, this wasn't my idea. Well, today this is my idea, but um, I saw this somewhere else and they had done this and I just, I loved it. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna work this up here as far as I can. And actually, I'm not even gonna glue that part down yet because I may need to slide these. So I'm gonna just leave that there for a minute. Okay, oops. And I'm gonna kinda go up and down and weave this, weave this through. Being careful not to bend the papers too much. And then as we weave them through, we can um, see if we like the placement, we can see if we need to change it, we can scooch them. There we go. And then the next one, I think I'm gonna put this in there next. Will that go all the way across? That one will not go all the way across. But this one will. See the, the gold? This is going to add just a little bit of something, something. I think that'll be quite nice. There we go. And even if this bunches up, I'm going to need to use some more of it because I think I'm going to, it may get lost in here with the other things going on. So I may need to bunch it up or I'm definitely going to use more pieces of it. Okay, and then let's use, I want to use my colored sparkly, sparkly one. Weave that in there, go over and then under that one. There we go. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, and I'm going to cut that one because I'm going to use it again. I 
don't have very much of that one, so I'm going to need it again. All right, let's do that. Now, because the fabric is so thin, I want to be careful not to butt this one up too much because it will, um, the fabric will get lost in the weave. All right, so let's do this one next. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so if you're watching this video, since I have a moment, um, you may, well, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Would love to have you join me. Um, I would love to grow the channel and do more and uh, reach more people and show them how to do things. I'm not trying to monetize at all, um, but you know, it would be nice to have uh, some more followers and it helps me too to get ideas from people. Um, and I just, I love being able to, to show what I'm doing. And so uh, like and subscribe, share, bring your friends over. I would love that. And I am actually doing a challenge right now. It's a group swap for Christmas. So if you're a crafter, um, we would love to have you join that too. So you'll see uh, the video. I'll, I'll try to link the, the video um, in the description box below so that you can find it easily. And would love to have you join as well. And there we go. Let's see, what else can we do here? Let's put some more color in there. Let's go back under. And we're just gonna go under and over and under and over and weave it through. I like it. Okay, let's do one more of Oh shucks, do I want this one or do I want the book page in there? I think I want the book page. Yeah, I think I do. It's the wrong way, isn't it? What did I do wrong? Over, oh, under this one. Under, over. This is the last piece to go in there. Under this one and under this last one. Oop, there we go. All right, now I gotta scooch everything up a little bit. That one's gonna be as far as it goes. And make sure it's nice and as tight as I can get it without jamming up anything. And just adjust it. There we go. That fabric does get kind of lost in there, doesn't it? But I think it's, I think it's relevant. I think it's, it works. All right, now, there's a tiny bitty space between that last piece and that. That's okay because I'm gonna have to glue everything down still. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. It doesn't need to be overcrowded off the page because we're gonna have to cut around this anyway to make it fit, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, since those are all pretty much in place, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this end. So just flip up here. And actually I can just put a, a ribbon all the way across and it'll catch all those ends right there. All right, let's just flatten that out. Make sure these are nice and tight, and we'll just hold that for a second. I like this, I like how it turned out. I'm gonna have to put something over the top of it though. I'm gonna, I mean, this is just a background, right? So we're gonna have to do something to make it decorative. Can't just send her a blank card, my goodness. All right, let's see what else. We've got to go ahead and tack these down. I think we're okay if we just tack, well, no, I'll have to go back in under underneath it and glue it too. But for now, I'm just gonna get these top pieces. Pick that up. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. I'm missing one. No, I'm not. It's just the fabric. That one might be a little tricky with this glue. We'll hold it for a second. Hmm. Come on. Glue 
won't show once it's dry. It'll be all right. And then to make it easier to glue the rest of it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the edges off around the card. And that way we can work with a closer surface. I'm gonna have to use a different glue on that. Let's go this way. Oops. And believe it or not, I'm going to throw away those scraps because I don't need them. I have plenty. I know, never throw anything away, but there goes. And there's our card. So I'm going to go ahead and do, let's see, there's some edges I think I need to still, if I remember correctly, I still need to get kind of under here. If there's any gaps or if it's not, if it sits up a little bit, you want to make sure you glue them down like there. Those aren't. Those need to some glue in there. Just put a string right underneath. Make sure everything's nice and attached. There we go. Now, what should we put on it? Got to put something on it. I'm going to try to round these edges too. They might be too thick. Let's try it. Yep, too thick for that. So what I'm gonna do is use my scissors. If all else fails, use your scissors. And as you know, I'm not a matchy-matchy, everything has to be perfect kind of gal, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. There we go. And I accidentally cut into the side of that, but that'll be all right. That will be okay. All right, there it is. Um, you also know that I love to, I love to distress ink. I love to ink the edges. And I may be stalling. I may or may not be stalling because I don't know what to do to the front of it. So this is my stall tactic. It's like, ooh, let's put some, oh no, that came out. Did that come out or was it just, it's okay, because it's still where it needs to be, but it wasn't glued on. So what we're gonna do is stick some glue back under there. Glue down, little guy, glue down. I think it pulled, but I can still see it over here, so it's okay. We'll just glue that so it doesn't keep happening. And I'll be more careful around this other side. can still see what's going on here. I'm sorry, I've probably been out of screen this whole time. This isn't adding a dramatic effect, but it definitely does make a difference. More so in person, I'm sure. I also kind of like to go into the middle a little bit just to, it'll kind of catch on the edges and make some of it look a little darker. All right. I'm happy with that, but I still need a design for the front. I think I'm going to rely on my buddy, Tim Holtz. Where is he? Let's see here. Let's see what ephemera I have. I've got flowers. Mm, I don't know feeling that today. I'm not feeling the flowers. I've got this kind of stuff, that packet, which I have not actually opened, so I don't even know what's in there. I even have, I have paper dolls, but I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe paper dolls, but let's look in these. Since I have any, I already, I've seen this one. Let's look in this one. There might be something here. I'm seeing some butterflies, so let's see if those will work. When I say my buddy, that means I think he's great. He doesn't know I exist. Okay. 
Now, if she was smaller, I would totally just put her on and be done. I love that. But she's not. So let's see what else we've got. I could make her smaller, I suppose, but... Let's see what we've got here. No, too big, too big, too big. I love that. Some little tags are falling all over. No, 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 no. I do love these. They're beautiful. That's kind of fun. Maybe something with that. I might end up with my people after all, my little paper dolls. Too big. I love the bird, but he's too big too. I don't want to cut his wings off. Something with flowers? That's actually pretty, just like that. Tim Holtz, you sure make this easy. Art store, that's kind of cool. Stamps. Got the hand. That's kind of neat, but I, between the two, I like that one better. Shirts are the cheapest and the best. That's cute. Nope. Not feeling that. Look how cute that is. Haircutting chart. Look at those haircuts. Business cut, the Commodore, half shingle. I don't get that. I can't even read that. The, the military, quarter shingle, and La Pompadour. Hmm. The dress pattern, that's kind of cute, but you'd, I'd have to cut it some butterflies which would be fun maybe I've got some options don't I all right all right what am I gonna do okay I like the flowers maybe I'll take these tickets off as much as I like them the flowers might be fun actually this might be or I can I think the butterflies as much as I like the butterflies and I think that would be a pretty option I think they'll blend in too much so I'm kind of liking this and I love this color maybe I could do something with that behind it what do you guys think Tell me, tell me, tell me something. Oh my gosh, I just reminded myself of the, um, I really love this lady. I really like her. I just don't want to cut it because it's cropped perfectly, really. I mean, I could cut a little bit here and I could even probably go here just a little bit, but it's still too big. All right, she'd be beautiful with this pattern behind her, but I think it needs to be bigger. Um, just to capture her. I think this is what I'm going with. You guys, I just reminded myself of this coworker that I had years and years ago. And I'd come, anybody would come in. It wasn't about me. But anybody that came into work, he'd look at him and his greeting was, tell me something good. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, I just thought of that. All right, here is, I've got some uh, onion dyed. Uh, what the heck, cheesecloth that I can put behind there for a little texture. I just need a little clip. Don't need much. And somewhere in this mess that I've got everywhere now, I've got my hot glue gun, which I'm going to need. <clears throat> wow, they must still be cutting down trees because I can hear a saw. I didn't know they had any more trees. I wish they'd come over and do mine for free. <clears throat> I've got this huge hickory tree out front. 
and I love the tree, but it's broken so many windshields this time of year. Oh, why did I just stick my fingers in the hot glue? And there's some limbs I really need to cut down, but um, this tree is ginormous. And the expense of it is probably gonna be outrageous. I haven't even checked into it because I just, I don't know. I love the tree. But I know it's crazy trying to keep it. Eventually I'm gonna have to cut it. At least to a safer place, you know? At least make it safer. All right, there we go. I was actually going to um, pop it up with foam tape, but I think this worked out just fine. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more of this behind here to make it pop up more. Get a little more dimension. Dollop of glue there, stick it on there. There we go. Oh, you guys, I like it a lot. Okay, so there was that. I still feel like it needs something, just a little something. And I think I know exactly what I need, if I can find it. And it's not that one. I think I know where to find it. I don't really like to add sentiments to the front of my ATCs. I don't know why. Sometimes I do, not very often, but I feel like it needs something. And I have these little halfback stickers. Where are they? And they're the perfect color. And I've used them a bazillion times and I keep moving them and I need to stop doing that because I use them all the time when I have them. And now all I can find is my little old rhinestone ones. So I probably moved them so I'd remember where. And I forgot. Helpful, right? So all I have is this one. Would this work? See, I think that's too blingy. Where, where, where is it? Um, any of those white? might use one of those white ones or pink ones maybe it's not what I wanted but I think the gold is too much too much so if I can find the other one really quick then I'll get that one out if not I'm just gonna go with what I have because that's what I do I usually figure if I can't find it in a reasonable amount of time it wasn't meant to be it's just my theory. And reasonable amount of time means I'm not wasting yours or mine. But I feel like I am at the moment, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it. Because I'm feeling guilty for wasting time. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Almost there, almost there. I need to use this box up. I have this big old box, big old box of uh, scraps. I don't know if you can see that, but that's all my little scraps that I that I hold on to for my different projects that I try to use up. Those are the bigger, well, those aren't the biggest scraps, but those are the bigger scraps that are. All right, I'm thinking, so what I'm thinking is just a, li a little something, like right there, maybe just that pink one. That's it, just, that's all I wanted, was just one little, I think I'm gonna use that right there, just right there, that's it. All that for that. Except that the other one has a better, better color, but we'll add, we'll add some color. All right, there we go, you guys. There's the ATC card. Um, I'm just going to put my information on the back and be done. I love it. I love to have it turned out. I hope you guys learned uh, something. I know I've been talking about showing how to do that uh, basket weave, so there you go. There it is. There she goes. And let's make sure you guys can see it up close and personal. Do you like it? I think it turned out pretty cute. All right, you guys, if you found this interesting and you like my channel, you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. And like and share, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.